Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice Support video. In this video, we'll run through the button functions and setup menu of the carbon dioxide meter, the IC Center 512. With the battery installed and the device already switched on, we can see the simultaneous display of carbon dioxide level in parts per million, relative humidity percentage, as well as the current temperature. The first thing we will do is run through the button functions. First is backlight. Press and release the power button to switch on or off the backlight. Note the backlight will automatically turn off after 30 seconds to save the battery. Next is the min max average button. When under this mode, the unit simultaneously monitors and stores the minimum, maximum and average value in the memory. The unit will keep updating and refreshing data on the screen. Pressing the button one time shows the min symbol. The minimum recorded data will appear on the screen. Pressing the button a second time and max lights up on the screen. The device will display the maximum recorded data. Press the button a third time and STL displays. This shows the average data for the short term exposure limit. Note this is a 15 minute time weighted average exposure. This updates every one minute. Pressing the button a fourth time displays TWA on the screen. This is the time weighted average indicator. This is an eight hour time weighted average exposure limit. The CO2 level here will update every 10 minutes. And a fifth press of the button makes max, min, STL and TWA flash on the screen. Real time data will display. To exit out of min max average mode, press the min max average button for two seconds. The device will return to normal measurement mode. Next is the set button. Pressing this takes you through to the settings menu. You can press this button again at any time to exit the settings menu. Within the menu, use the REC button to scroll up, the CF button to scroll down and the hold button to save changes and move on to the next option. The first setting option is INT. This is setting the interval time for data storing. The selectable interval time range is from 1 second up to 60 minutes and 59 seconds. The next setup option is to select the offset to compensate for errors. You can adjust the humidity offset by plus or minus 10%. Adjust the temperature offset by plus or minus 5 degrees Celsius. And the carbon dioxide offset is adjustable by plus or minus 400 parts per million. Next is altitude compensation. Find your altitude using Google Maps and adjust as necessary. Next is the alarm point setting. Use the arrows to turn the alarm on or off. If switched on, two further options become available. You can set the value for high and low alarms for CO2. Next is the setup of auto power off. This defaults to on and a 10 minute switch off time. Use the arrows to select between off, that means the device remains on, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or one, two, four, or eight hours. And lastly, select the system clock. Set the year, month, day, hour, and minute. Pressing hold again moves the device back to the start of the setup menu. Press set to exit the menu and return to measurement mode. The next button is hold. Pressing this button will freeze all data on the LCD. This is helpful for easy recording of measurements. Hold mode is indicated by the digits being frozen and the hold status indicator on the top of the screen. To exit this mode and return to measurement mode, press the hold button a second time. Next is the REC button. Press this to start recording data. REC will blink on the screen as data is recorded. There's a few notes on data recording. You cannot enter the settings mode while data is recording, so ensure all settings are made before you begin data recording. When the data memory becomes full, so after 32,000 measurements, full will blink on the LCD. The data will stop logging once data is full. And lastly, if the battery is running low, data logging cannot be started. If the battery becomes critically low during recording, the logging will stop. At any time to stop recording, press the REC button again. The last button on this device is the CF button. Press this to change the temperature display between Celsius and Fahrenheit. The last tip we will cover in this video is the clearing of data logging records. To clear log data, start with the unit off. Press and hold the REC button, then press and hold the power button. Keep holding both buttons. The unit will show REC, CLR, and SURE, then count down from five. After the countdown, the total number of available log points will display. If 32,000 displays, reset was successful. The power and record buttons can now be released. And that's how to set up and a run through of the carbon dioxide meter, the IC Center 512. For more information on this or other carbon dioxide sensors, speak with an instrument choice scientist. Call 1300 737 871 or email customer service at instrumentchoice.com.au. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.